So we're CG2. We worked with Alpha Education this semester, and here's a presentation that is showing everything that we have done with them. So well, Alpha Education is a nonprofit organization based in Toronto, Canada, working to increase awareness of an often forgotten aspect of World War II history in Asia and promote critical inquiry to contribute to strengthening peace and reconciliation. They do this in four ways. First, they engage educators and students. They design and implement educational programs and workshops to help others learn about the atrocities that occurred during World War II in Asia and the lessons in humanity that can be taken away from these. Their programs explore core questions about social justice, global citizenship, and historical inquiry. They also support research. Alpha partners with universities and develops resources to promote research and engagement in the process of historical inquiry. Furthermore, they empower youth. The organization works to empower youth through their university chapters, internship opportunities, mentorship, and social change projects. And finally, they connect with the community. Alpha connects with the community through their political advocacy efforts, including petitioning to pass important legislation, organizing demonstrations to bring awareness to key issues in the fight for justice for victims of Japanese war crimes during World War II. They also have a museum in Toronto to connect with and educate the community. We started with completing several educational modules provided by the organization and helped familiarize us with the important topics we could later work with, such as Japanese military atrocities, uh, for example, Unit 731, Comfort Women and Biological Warfare. Uh, we also worked on politics of denial and the Tokyo trials. We then broke into three different groups that contributed to their Asia Pacific Peace Museum, um, contributed to producing educational materials, contributed to existing Google Earth project on testimony of comfort women survivors, and contributed by creating a Google Earth project highlighting different peace status. Group one, the museum group, museum background. Alpha's, Alpha Education's Asia Pacific Peace Museum in Toronto, Canada is set to open this year and will commemorate the entirety of World War II in Asia. It is the first such museum of its type in the world, as there are no other museums dedicated solely to the conflict of World War II in Asia. Using the ideas of humanity and peace, the museum strives to improve the public's knowledge of World War II in Asia and increase youth participation in the pioneering of a peace and reconciliation movement. Its overall goal is to promote humanity and peace education through a critical understanding of the history of World War II in Asia. To the left is an image that, that shows the layout of the museum proposed that will be built in 2022. The museum group produced a digital timeline and other resources that recount different activist efforts in response to chemical and biological attacks in China during World War II. Um, specifically, um, the timeline and additional resources will be a part of the digital component, which corresponds to different galleries within the museum. So attendees will be able to access what we created on their phone at specific points in the museum walkthrough via QR code. Um, our work will be featured towards the end of the first floor exhibits in or near the Biochemical Warfare and Human Experimentation Gallery, which you can see in the layout of the museum, circled in red in this photo. Um, our project focuses on activist work at Battles for Justice, um, and it seeks to give a more positive and uplifting ending to this part of the museum. So specifically, we focus on Seburo Iyanaga. He's a Japanese historian and textbook author who started a legal battle that continued for 32 years after his textbook detailing Japanese military atrocities was rejected by the Ministry of Education. Next, we talked about Wang Xuan, a Chinese activist who has fought for the recognition of the use of biochemical weapons in China during World War II and has worked to attain reparations for victims. And finally, we talked about NHK, Japan's most influential TV station, um, which released a documentary in 2016, which brought awareness to the war atrocities of the Japanese Imperial Army. Group two, Google Earth Statues of Peace. The goal of this project is to highlight the strength of the resistance of women who were victims of the comfort woman tra tragedy that occurred during World War II. 
With the first statue of peace raised in Seoul, Korea, many more since then have been built and raised to honor the women who suffered and to make sure that similar atrocities associated with war do not happen again. To education about the various statues of peace raised to honor the memory of the women, it is the hope that the wider public will learn the stories behind these women, which is missing from many hist history curricula in the schools around the world. Towards the right, we have an a image of the Google Earth that we created, uh, which focused mainly on the statues of peace uh, in Seoul, Korea, Melbourne, Australia, Berlin, Germany, California, and Southfield, Michigan. Um, group three, Google Earth Testimonies of the Comfort Women. Uh, so this is a history of Japan's comfort women. Uh, Japanese soldiers abducted young women and girls into sexual slavery and military brothels. They were then called comfort women. Many women and girls died from the extensive injuries and venereal diseases they contracted. Those who survived often experienced infertility and lifelong medical and psychological problems due to the trauma and torture they experienced. Um, beyond this, these women were often outcast and shamed in society nowadays. However, uh, for a long time, Japanese officials denied and ignored this history and refused to acknowledge the harm done to these women. So following the first testimony of like Korean comfort women survivor, Kim Hong-sung in 1991, and more women began to speak about their experiences as comfort women and forcing those Japanese officials to acknowledge the atrocities uh, committed by the Japanese military. However, like to this day, many continue to fight for justice and reconciliation for the girls and women who were forced into sexual slavery. Our aim is to exemplify the deep-rooted impact of World War II in Asia by sharing real-life stories of comfort women survivors who were captured and brutalized by the Japanese Imperial Army during World War II. We focus on Chinese and Korean combat women survivors. We focus on what happened to them and their lifelong struggle and their activism for fighting justice and honor. We believe the importance of our study is that we encourage solidarity with these victims and the value of this study is it is an important case study that represents as an institutionalized government sponsor sex trafficking operation during wartime. Um, following like we, those are the takeaways that like we uh, get from like this project. And I'm impressed by the fact that the comfort women survivors are able to stand up and speak for themselves, even though they had experienced all this trauma and torture. And I truly appreciate the effort to promote the awareness and the opportunity that Alpha Education has given me to learn more about the history of World War II. Overall, I appreciate the opportunity to work on the project about World War II history in Asia for Alpha's Asia Pacific Peace Museum. This experience, helped me learn more about the dark history of what happened in Asian countries and inspire me to continue promoting peace and humanity in the future. I especially enjoy learning about the efforts of different activists fighting to raise awareness of Japanese atrocities, acknowledging victims, and fighting for justice and recognition. I learned a great deal about the history of World War II in Asia. This has been a rewarding experience because it exposes me to a part of history that is educating with regard to war, human rights, and the destructive force that war can have on right and life. It is said that this history is little known. I was able to acquire greater insight into it because of this three-year internship opportunity. It was nice to study historical perspectives without the Eurocentric ones that is prevalent in many educational systems around the world. I enjoyed being able to engage with history from a different perspective and contribute to pre presenting history in a new light. I appreciated being introduced to ideas that are overlooked and being shown that by exploring them, it is possible to help bring awareness to something that so many people have endured but do not get recognition for. It was interesting to learn about and bring light to world 
were two historical events that I otherwise would have never learned about in the American school system curriculum. I learned a lot about the history of World War II and it was an engaging and educational internship. We would like to sincerely thank Natani Narayana for leading us through our learning about many of the atrocities such as comfort women and guiding our groups through the experience. We would also like to thank Flora Chan for providing great feedback and insights into our research and projects. Finally, we would like to thank Sherman Chin for mentoring us on the construction of a resource for a museum.